What's up guys? Welcome back to the Cowl Vault, and in today's video, I really don't know what we're gonna do. Hey, it's the Cowl Vault, breaking the fourth wall. Today's video is going to be a review of The Dark Knight Cowl by Fanatic Effects. Didn't know what I was doing, but that's what today's video is, so stay tuned, we're gonna review the cowl. Um, I guess it's kind of like an update, slash... I, I don't know. Alright, so you may have noticed right away that like I got this big wall of Funko Pops here. Um, I reorganized the basement. Again, I'm never satisfied and I don't have enough room down here to really do much with my space. Um, but I'll give you like a really quick pan around. So. Um, this is like the corner where all the cowls and things are. Um, this used to be a lot higher and the cowls were kind of along the wall. Um, but I took out all the Funko Pops and I put them up on the wall uh, so that I can utilize this space for more cowls eventually. And I also put my desk here so I can do some live streams for some drawings and stuff on my Instagram. I got a spotlight here and another light there so there's a lot, a lot of light. I'd like to film most of my YouTube videos here now. So, uh, get a good feel for what that'll look like. I guess it'll look something like this. Somewhat. I'm still trying to find a good place to put the tripod. And my tripod is really cheap and really, really broken. Um, I literally have, like, the part that holds the phone taped together with a whole bunch of duct tape. Because the little socket for the phone is very loose. And the minute I put up my phone, it just slides and falls apart um but yeah so i still don't know what we're gonna do in this video hey cow vault here again i just want to slap my other self and be like dude today we're reviewing the dark knight cowl get with the program stay tuned it's coming it's coming my brain's about to click Alright, I've decided what we're going to do. We're going to do a cowl review. So, today's cowl, we're going to review the Dark Knight Cowl by uh, Fanatic Effects. Oh, oh, he figured it out? Alright, good. So there's no need for me? Alright guys, enjoy the review. So, I did an unboxing of this mask uh, one or two weeks ago. I can't remember. I ordered so many Batman masks that I can never remember when I actually got them. Um, so yeah, I did an unboxing of this. This was a free gift from Fanatic Effects because I've pretty much cleaned him out of everything that he has. Um, I have a Batman Begins cowl on the way in the mail from him right now. And then when his Robert Pattinson, the Batman cowl is finally molded, which he is in the process of doing right now, that will be added to the collection. And I'm also in talks with somebody about a Val Kilmer sonar. So I have that lined up as well. And then I will have the entire movie set. But this was one that I was missing for my movie set. And it is a very, very, very beautiful uh, recreation of the Christian Bale cowl. Um, it's made of 40 Shore urethane rubber, as most of my cowls are and most Batman cowls are. Um, this one is a little bit small. I would say this probably fits about a 23 and a half inch head. So this is pretty tight on me. Um, I'll put it on in a minute or two, um, but for right now I just want to show it off. Um, thickness on it is relatively consistent all the way through. It's about inch and a half thick all the way around. The ears are filled in, so they're really nice and firm. They're not um, hollowed out like some cowls will be to uh, reduce their weight. Um, this one does have a space for nose holes they just have not been cut out but my cowls are just for display so I'm not planning on cutting them out the trimming on the eyes and everything was really really well done Let's see if I can get some light on that oh I'm dripping guys it is flu season you can see that the trimming on the eyes is done pretty well how well that's showing up on camera there we go trimming on the eyes was really really well done 
And overall, I really, really like this mask. Um, it's got a bit of a stretch, but you don't want to be too aggressive with urethane. Um, casting quality on it was pretty done. Pretty done. Pretty done. Pretty well done. And yeah, it's a really, really nice mask. So yeah, let's just try it on. So here is the cowl being worn. It's pretty tight on me. It's pulling down on my eyelids a little bit and making vision a little bit blurry. But it is a pretty, pretty cool mask. Wasn't high on my list to add to my movie set, but I am a completionist. I need to have all the movie masks to for this to be considered a full collection of the Batman cowl cinema photography. I don't know. So yeah, it's a really, really nice mask. It's pretty tight on my ears, so I'm having a hard time hearing anything right now. Um, it pushes your face out a little bit, so you get that weird, like, Christian Bale kissy face thing that he had in The Dark Knight. Swear to me. That was horrible. <clears throat> Swear to me. I'm Batman. <laughs> and then... Uh, the people like me that have facial hair right now it hurts to pull that off but I digress you can get your head in there with ease and if it doesn't fit just get some talcum powder or some um, some type of lubrication to get this over your head but there it is the dark night cowl made by fanatic effects formerly known as GC effects it's actually a YouTube video made by GC effects um, before um, Selman who is the owner of fanatic started his company fanatic effects um, they actually have the uh, a YouTube channel um, GC effects where you can actually see a suit up breakdown of their whole Dark Knight set um, they offered this entire costume and Selman, who is now known as Fanatic Effects, still offers this entire costume. So if you'd like to get your Dark Knight Christian Bale costume, and you want a really, really accurate, affordable version, um, I highly suggest Fanatic Effects. So there you go. I'll leave his information down below. This has been another episode of the Cowl Vault, guys, and we did another Cowl review. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace out, be good people. Whoa, before you go anywhere, one more thing. One last fourth wall break from the Cowl Vault for you guys. Um, if you liked the style of this video, the construction of this video, this shorter, in-depth, little bit of a cartoony sketch type video, let me know in the comments. Or if you guys would like me just to go back to my very serious, this is the cowl that I purchased, and this is where you get it, and this is what it looks like worn. Blah, 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 blah. If you guys want me to go back to that, I can. Or if you guys liked this more lighthearted, funny, campy, enjoyable style of video, let me know in the comments down below. Peace out. Be good people. Do not forget to subscribe. Ring that notification bell so you guys always know when I'm posting new content. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are almost at 700 subs. We're about 50 away. If I can get to 700 subs, okay, 700 subs, we'll do another giveaway, and this time, we'll do a cowl giveaway. So, subscribe. If you guys want a cowl, subscribe. I'll do a giveaway. Peace out. Be good people.